Hello guys, welcome to BioEd. I'm Aman and welcoming you to a new video on cells of the immune system. This video will be a really short video in which we will talk about the development of the cells of the immune system and we'll try to cover all the topics in less than three minutes. So stay tuned to the video and let's start the video. So guys, in this video, we'll be discussing about the overview of the cells of the immune system. In this video, we'll be talking about the development of these cells from a pluripotent stem cell. And we'll also discuss about their differentiation, development and maturation into different type of cells. We'll cover all the topics. So how does it start? Let's see. It all starts from a pluripotent stem cell. And this pluripotent stem cell differentiates into two different progenitors. One is the lymphoid progenitor and the next is the myeloid progenitor. So basically these differentiation can differentiate uh, both, the, uh, both the cells into two different immunities. The first is the adaptive immunity and the next is the innate immunity. The lymphoid progenitor cell can further uh, differentiate into a B cell and a T cell. The B cell can further differentiate into a memory B cell which has a characteristic of a memory against a previous uh, occurred infection and in a plasma cell. The plasma B cell has the characteristic of secreting antibodies, uh, secreting immunoglobulins in the blood. Let's come to T cell. The T cell can differentiate into a helper T cell also known as CD4 and into a killer T cell also known as CD8. The CD stands here for cluster of differentiation. These are a set of proteins present on the surface of these cells which helps us differentiate between different types of cells. These helper T cells and killer T cells can further grow and maturate into a memory T cell. Coming on to the uh, exceptions of uh, lymphoid progenitor cells, first is the natural killer cell which comes into the innate immunity and also a dendritic cell. It is the antigen presenting cell. It also comes into innate immunity. Coming to myeloid progenitor, first let us remove the cell which is not involved in the immunity that is the erythroid progenitor. The erythroid progenitor can further maturate and grow and develop into a RBC, red blood cell, also known as erythrocytes. It can also differentiate and grow into a granulocyte macrophage progenitor. From this, either granulocytes can be produced or macrophage can be produced. If the granulocyte part we see, the granulocyte uh, progenitor can give rise to eosinophils that stain gets stained by acidic dye, basophils that get stained by basic dye, or neutrophils that don't either get stained by either acidic or basic dyes. The macrophage part can grow into a monocyte. This monocyte can also get converted into a dendritic cell and also into a macrophage. So guys, this was all the overview of the cells of the immune system and their development. So if you like the video, please drop a like and also do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.